using clips from the Democratic National Convention to try to tell people that they, like, shouldn't vote for Kamala Harris does not convey the idea that you were trying to reach out to independents. That's a reach of logic. Correlation is not causation. The reality is Tulsi did a good job explaining perfectly why nobody should support Kamala Harris if they actually care about issues like systemic racism. Kamala Harris built her entire career off of systemic racism, despite being a woman of color. But more importantly, the reason I keep using the clip of Tulsi Gabbard taking Kamala Harris down is because of what you said later on in your video right here. You're going to get a woman president more than likely who is a woman of color? First of all, if you want to accuse me of being a racist or a misogynist, just come out and say it. Second of all, Tulsi Gabbard is also a woman of color. So are you racist for having a problem with her? The reason I keep using the clip of Tulsi Gabbard, an indigenous Hawaiian woman, calling out Kamala Harris for her career as a prosecutor is because it's kind of hard to accuse somebody of being racist or sexist when the person calling you out is another woman of color. You didn't think all people shouldn't be voting for Kamala Harris and that you thought Donald Trump was by far the better choice? Where do I ever say that Donald Trump is the better choice of the two? They both suck. I'm not choosing the lesser of two evils. The only difference between Trump and Harris is that Trump's a little bit more honest about what he's trying to do. You know, I, the Heritage Foundation, which literally has been endorsed by Trump. Kind of like how Black Lives Matter initially endorsed Biden and Harris during the 2020 election. How did that work out? Yeah. She never made good on any of those promises. This kind of stuff happens all the time in politics. People make promises and they never keep them. Take donations from lobbying firms like Black Lives Matter or the Heritage Foundation and then they do absolutely nothing to meet the promises they made to those lobbying firms. I would expect somebody who's actually been involved with several campaigns would actually know this. There are issues with women having lost their reproductive rights. The Democrats had promised to codify Roe v. Wade for 50 years and they never did it, even when they had a majority in the House, Senate, and the executive branch of government in their pocket. This is just another thing they dangle like a carrot on the stick to keep y'all running on the treadmill and fear-mongering against the Republicans. They're never actually going to do anything to protect women's bodily autonomy. More importantly, there are way too many radical feminists out there whose response to Roe v. Wade being overturned was demanding mandatory vasectomies. So let's stop acting like a lot of these women actually care about bodily autonomy other than their own. They're not pro-choice. They're anti-personal responsibility. There's a difference between the two. Productive rights. Our society is going to complete shit because we've got an abundance of Nazis who think it's okay to be Nazis. And many of those have endorsed Joe Biden. No, seriously, there are multiple videos of these groups publicly endorsing and encouraging what Joe Biden is doing. The only difference is the media doesn't want to focus on the ones who endorse Biden. Hell, there are even groups of those individuals who endorse Palestine and Hamas. It's not because they give a crap about the Palestinian people, it's because they have a mutual disdain for the Jews. And it's not like Donald Trump has actually encouraged any of this. Donald Trump has repeatedly denounced those organizations multiple times. Y'all just choose to ignore it. See, this is the big difference between libertarians and leftists. Y'all believe any fear-mongering BS you hear on the internet or get from the mainstream media, as long as it's not Fox News. Because Fox News is the only untrustworthy news source. Yeah, sure. Libertarians, on the other hand, can actually argue against Donald Trump on policy. We can criticize him for his trade war with China. We can point out the fact that he's actually the most anti-gun president we've had in the last decade. Like he seriously passed more gun control than Obama. From the bump stock bans to his support of red flag laws, we have legitimate criticisms about him. Y'all are just spreading a bunch of fear mongering against him. Who thinks that, you know, dictators are cool and who wants to be a dictator? Who has said he wants to be a dictator? See what I mean by fear mongering? I've never heard Donald Trump say anything of the sort. Meanwhile, there's leftists all over the internet spreading crap like this. I butt heads with them all the time. Donald Trump never once said he wanted to be a dictator. That's just something y'all made up and constantly spread fear over. Meanwhile, there are people in your own camps 
who actually want to make America a dictatorship, who publicly advocate for overthrowing the government in its entirety, and the capitalist boogeyman that keeps the marginalized oppressed or whatever. They say the oppressed can't become the oppressor, but in reality, they perceive themselves as the oppressed and they want to be the oppressor. And crap like this is proof of that. Before you go around casting stones, you might want to check the radicals in your own camp first. Trying to convince us that she's as bad or worse than Donald Trump. You see, that's just it. I don't have to convince you and I know I'm not going to convince you. Because you're being willfully ignorant and you're believing what you want. You prove that every time you try to fearmonger against Trump while supporting the lesser of two evils as if it makes a big difference. If you followed me and actually paid attention to campaigns like you claim to, you would know the goal is to reach independents who are on the fence. I don't need to sway your opinion. I just need to debunk your thought process. And trying to make Kamala look bad isn't going to make your campaign look good. I'm here to say, it hasn't worked out for the Republicans. This race is far from over. Harris hasn't even officially clinched the Democrat nominee yet. And the poll projections aren't exactly showing a Harris victory in a landslide. Some of these polls actually show the exact opposite. And even the ones where Harris is ahead of Trump, it's close. So no, pandering to identity politics isn't working for the Democrats like it did during the Obama administration. There are plenty of people starting to get wise to the tokenized politics that the Democrats have been playing for the last decade and a half or so. While ultimately realizing the Democrats never actually cared about any of these issues, they just talked about them on the campaign trail. Once they get in office, they don't do shit to fix the problems. No matter what you say, Republicans are red, Democrats are blue, and neither major party gives a damn about me or you. So don't be like this guy. Be bold. Vote gold.